Hey, welcome to the channel, where I create bikepacking videos and review gear from an adventure cyclist's perspective. Magic Shine recently sent me one of their waterproof 3000 lumen MJ902S lights to test out. I've had a chance to test the 902S against my existing mountain bike light over the last month. In this video, I'll be providing a review and discuss what I like and what could be improved. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video for instructions on how to win your own Magic Shine light, including some stickers, and your own SBA cap and shirt. The 902S retails online for $140 American or $180 Canadian. The light has two LEDs with a beam spread of 32 degrees. The light has both a flashing mode and a beam mode. It can also be powered by an e-bike. In the constant beam mode, there are four light settings ranging from 25 lumens with a running time of 42 hours to 3000 lumens with a running time of an hour and a half. The light is powered by a 6.7 amp external battery pack which weighs just over 400 grams. It also comes with pretty much everything you need, including straps to mount the battery pack to the top tube, handlebar mount, an attachment for a GoPro helmet mount, aero bar straps, a charging cable, and a hex key. All right, I'm here at my local mountain bike trail. The sun is just setting. Let's go try out these new lights. So here's what I like about the 902S. On the inaugural ride, I rode for exactly one hour with the light on max brightness. After the ride, the battery indicator was showing three dots, which means it had at least 70% left. In total, I got about three and a half hours out of the battery pack with the light on max brightness, which is about twice the runtime listed. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the 902S with my existing light. I feel like the spray of the Magic Shine is wider, and it goes further. It's also more brightly and evenly spread. I also think that the USB out port is a nice touch. It's good to have in an emergency. In terms of pricing, I think that the 902S is competitively priced, as I paid $220 Canadian for my existing light, which has slightly less lumens. I also like that the battery bank has an indicator light, which is useful for riding on the trail and knowing how much power you have left. Here are some other noteworthy thoughts that I have about the lights and things that you should know before considering purchasing one. I'm not a huge aesthetic person, but if you like a clean look, you might not like how the battery bank looks when it attaches to the top tube. You'll likely have a lot of extra cord that will need to be tucked into the Velcro straps on the top tube. But at the same time, you'll need to leave some slack to be able to turn the bars effectively. In the end, it looks a bit awkward, but it works just fine. Between the four different modes and the brightness levels within them, there are 13 different choices, ranging from 25 to 3,000 lumens. But there's also a lot of overlap between those, with three of those 13 being 1,500 lumens. While I mostly use this on max brightness, I found it time consuming to circle through the various modes and would often skip past my desired brightness level. Perhaps something simpler is better. The light can also get very hot, hotter than anything else I've used. And this can be a bit worrisome if it's on your helmet and that close to your head. Also, I'd like to note that Magic Shine said the light is impact resistant up to one meter. But if you ride a big bike like me, then your light is way more likely to be one meter off the ground, especially if it's on your helmet. Because this isn't a long-term review, I can't speak to the durability of the light or the lifetime of the battery over a long period of time. Also, you should know that the light comes with a two-year warranty and the battery pack comes with a six-month warranty. So how would I see myself using the 902S? Honestly, the 902S is going to be my new go-to mountain biking light, which I'm going to pair with my existing light. While the 902S is marketed as an all-around light, I wouldn't really see myself using it for commuting or for bikepacking. This is because it's a bit of a hassle to strap the battery bank on and off the top tube. It would be easier to use something with a dedicated internal battery. The same would apply to bikepacking. Unless I anticipated doing a significant amount of night riding, I would probably opt for something with an internal battery. I also use a top tube bag when I bikepack. So I would have to store the bank in one of my bags and there would be no room to strap it on the top tube. With respect to mountain biking, I would only see myself using the light on my helmet and not on the bars. It provides a much better spray, and I find that the battery bank is easier to toss on my camel back than to strap on the top tube and having to deal with the wire. To summarize my experience with the 902S, I'd say that it far exceeded my expectations. 
I think it's good for mountain biking, but if you're looking for something for commuting or bikepacking, it might not be the light for you. I'd suggest something with an internal battery. If you are keen to purchase a Magic Shine light, they've offered a 15% discount code if you use the code SIRBIKESALOT15 when you check out. To support this review, Magic Shine has generously offered to give away a 902S as part of a contest I'll run on Instagram. So head over there for details on how to enter. So that concludes my review, and I'll catch you in the next one.